Welcome to What the Future, your destination for all those stories that make you say WTF. When I say, that's a loyal wingman, you might think I'm talking about that bro who helped another bro get that girl's number at the bar, but Boeing is taking that term more literally. This is the air power teaming system. It's a concept Boeing Australia hopes will become a pilot's new best friend. Maybe that's why they nicknamed it the loyal wingman. Unlike other military drones, this one is designed to fly alongside pilots during missions. But thanks to AI, it can also operate independently. So imagine a single pilot with a dozen unmanned drones they can control from their own cockpit. They can send the drones out ahead and minimize their own risk. Boeing says the drone will provide fighter-like performance with a range of more than 2,000 nautical miles. And an unnamed industry source told Australia's ABC that they could eventually deliver bombs. Now they're targeting next year for a first flight, and this all sounds great, but how are you supposed to bro-hug a drone? You can be my wingman anytime. Oh, you can be mine. That robot apocalypse, it just got smaller and more nimble. MIT says its mini cheetah made robot history. Now we've seen backflipping robots before. But MIT says this little guy is the first quadruped robot to do it. The mini cheetah only weighs 20 pounds, but it's pretty robust. I'd feel bad for it there, but I think at this point, we're all pretty used to seeing robots take abuse. Now, Mini Cheetah's top speed is about twice as fast as an average person's walking speed, and MIT says it plans to build 10 more to loan out to collaborators. On behalf of Ripley, Little Earth, myself, and our crew, welcome to the Crew Dragon. In case you missed it over the weekend, astronauts also made history on the International Space Station when they entered the SpaceX Crew Dragon. This marked the first time humans have entered the Crew Dragon in space. SpaceX launched it with a Falcon 9 rocket from Kennedy Space Center early Saturday morning. There were no people inside, just a dummy named Ripley, most likely a nod to this space traveler, and a plush little Earth doll. The Crew Dragon detaches from the space station tomorrow to return to Earth. And if all goes well, Elon Musk's SpaceX plans to launch its first manned test flight as early as July. Musk had a pretty busy weekend. On Twitter, he confirmed Tesla will reveal its new Model Y SUV March 14th at an event in Los Angeles. Now, the Model Y is a crossover that will share 75% of its parts with Tesla's cheapest car, the Model 3. Now, we don't know much about it, except that Musk says the Y is about 10% bigger than the Model 3, so it will cost about 10% more. Model 3s now start at $35,000. All right, what made you say WTF this week? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. That's gonna do it for this week. I'm Andy Altman. Thanks for watching What the Future.